If you take your finger and place it on the geographical center of the nation, somewhere above Kansas and below South Dakota, it won't simply be resting on a blank spot. It will be touching the beating heart of true American wildness. A place of windswept and possibly vast horizons, ancient grass-covered hills, and fast-flying prairie grouse. The Nebraska Sandhills, a vast, sprawling, 20,000 square mile region in the heart of the nation. They are the largest remaining intact grasslands in the world. This is my American Church of the Uplands, the ancestral range of two of our most iconic game birds, the sharp-tailed grouse and the greater prairie chicken. How did I end up here, in this place? Like all great discoveries of the heart and soul, I found it by accident. Or maybe it found me at a time when I needed to be found. All I know is I'd never seen any other place like it, never felt any other place like it. And for those who seek the solace of wild places and the thrill of wild birds, the Sandhills are a place to reconnect with themselves, their passions, and the land. They come here to lose themselves in the endless folds of this vast inland sea of grass and to find themselves in this solitude-soaked landscape, this living example of the critical connection between American wildness and the American spirit that only grows more precious and priceless as the world grows ever more crowded. Grass, sky, solitude. That's the trinity for me, the solace of things that bring me peace. I found them here. In most of life, we put on masks for the world that obscure who we really are, and we invest too much of ourselves in things we don't care about to fill that hole because that's what the world tells us we need to do. Out here, under the sheltering sky, there is nothing to break the current of time and memory. What once was is stripped away, never to return. And what remains is what you are, a solitary figure always walking into the moment because there is no other direction than where the heart in your bird dog points you. But at some point, you want to share this with someone you want to make them see what you see, make them feel what you feel. You want to see the world through new, excited eyes again. Because to walk the sand hills is to walk the soul exposed in all its shining truth. Good, bad, and everything in between. Space and silence and grass will never lie to you, even when you want it to. That's the beauty of this place. It will always be honest, and honesty is at its best when it is shared. You want to like cut down through here or hit these ridge tops or yeah we can kind again? of cut down sort of go parallel with the road right there okay and then turn around and maybe come back and try to pick up where i saw those birds yesterday whoa that was a down bird right yeah Nice shooting, Oki. Dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. Nice bird. Well earned. Well earned, indeed. Woo! On the board, baby. Yeah. I couldn't tell if Leah was on point for that first bird or if he bumped it. Do you, do you know? He went on point. He went on point? Yep. Yeah, he stopped, but it didn't really give him much of a chance. Yeah, they're just not giving him any chances. As much rainy as it was Leo's. Pepper! 
the bird. Good boy. Good boy. That sure is uh, a special one first. Sharp tailed grouse. First hunt in Nebraska. First on the sand hills. One for the memory books. Good boy. They're gorgeous birds. You walk miles up and down the cresting waves of an endless rustling sea. You sweat, you eat dust. You stop to catch snakes, turtles, and lizards to sate the still living wonder of your inner child. Under the relentless sun, you drink cold, ancient fossil water out of creaking old prairie windmills. You chase birds that seem more ghost than game. Heck yeah. It just, these are such iconic birds of this place. And I, I just do this, they, they smell like prairie, you know? Like these are birds that have been here for eons. And this bird that I'm holding in my hand is just the end product of like thousands and thousands of years of, of generations of these birds living in this place. And I think that's just the coolest thing in the world. And that's what brings me back every year. Let's go get the others. Good job, Buster. Good job, nice hold. Found one. Yeah, that one's right there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That one went right in on me. You miss, you curse, you laugh, you rib, and sometimes, when it all comes together, with a warm, limp bird in your hand and a tired, excited dog at your feet, you finally understand why you needed to share your solace with another. Just a, quite a variety of stuff. Like there's a few rose hips here. There's a beetle. Uh, these are some little, look like prairie sunflower seeds. night, you sit and watch the campfire sparks jump into the night sky, gaze at the sprawling vastness of the Milky Way spilling across the stars, eat good food and laugh and talk and be human in this most wild and human of places. And in the end, you hope that people you share this place with in these moments will come to understand a bit of who you are, what you are. You hope they too become what this place has made you. There are precious few untouched places left on earth that remind us of how beautiful and vast, how interconnected, and ultimately how fragile life is. And the sand hills are one of those places. First they awe you, then they inspire you, and finally, they teach you. And what they teach you, what any special place teaches you, is that there is so little time and room in life for the meaningless. So fill it with what matters. <laughs>